Welcome to Chassa's Crazy Creations. Another trip to Dollar Tree, but it's not what you think this time. Today, we're going to talk about what not to buy at Dollar Tree. Let's get started. First up, toilet paper. So skip the singles, and even at this four pack, you can get it for less at Walmart. And the name brand is 58 cents a roll. And the same thing is true of paper towels. You can buy more and get them for less at Walmart. Now, when it comes to their napkins, you get $150 for $1.25. For these, they're about the same cost as they are for me at Walmart, so I have gone ahead and gotten these. You might be interested in my new DIY books. You can find all of the information in the description below. Now, there are some batteries, like Energizer batteries, that are going for $5. Those might not be as bad, but when it comes to all the batteries for $1.25, just say no. But for $1.25, you're going to notice that these say for low drain devices only. These will not last as long in high drain devices. If you want to pay for the high drain devices, those cost $3. But in general, these just don't last as long. I buy mine in bulk from Costco instead. Another thing I'd probably stay away from are a lot of the cords. They're not made as durable as others. For $1.25, I mean, what would you expect, right? But I've seen these detach at the ends much easier or they just stop charging a device. Another thing I'd probably stay away from are the headsets. I mean, I'm not sure they're going to plug into a lot of our devices these days anyways, but some of them have a buzzing noise that happens in the background and they're just not clear. And for under $10, you can get Sony's at Walmart. Okay, I just found this phone selfie light. It's kind of cute. I'm kind of tempted, but I'm sure it's going to break, so I'm going to try to refrain. For $1.25, this windshield washer fluid seems like a bargain. Sometimes these are watered down and actually don't hold up in your climate. So it might be worth spending just a little bit more to get that other brand. From personal experience, I would say stay away from the duct tape. Go get a better brand. I'm also not a huge fan of this painter's tape. I've had it peel up on me mid-project and it's just not been great. So I would not recommend it. Now, I have pulled some things from the baby section for a backup diaper bag in case of emergencies. But here's some things to keep in mind when shopping Dollar Tree. Whether it's for a baby, kids, or you, always check the back ingredients before purchasing anything at Dollar Tree. Make sure you know what the ingredients are and make sure there's nothing hidden. Sometimes you'll find even things like formaldehyde, parabens, or other nasty ingredients are inside of them that you want to stay away from. Even things like artificial fragrance can be a skin irritant. And the same thing goes for all of our fur babies, those pets. Make sure to check those ingredients of anything you're thinking about purchasing. For example, this first ingredient on this one is whole grain and corn. And this one, the first ingredient is corn. Whereas this one, the first ingredient is water and then followed by chicken and chicken liver and then tuna. And I would stay away from any vitamins or supplements at Dollar Tree. My doctors always tell me to get mine from places like Vitamin Cottage. Makeup would be another one that I'd be cautious of. You want to make sure you understand what the ingredients are, again, before putting them on your skin, and always check expiration dates. You want to make sure that you're not getting something that's dated and old. Get my home hacks guide. It's free. Look for the link in the description below. Now, I have to admit, I've used some of their seasonings for some crafts, but I would suggest staying away from them as their cinnamon was just recalled for having lead in it. Now, I have found brand names every once in a while in their seasoning section, and those might be okay, but I would check the expiration date first before purchasing. Now, if you're looking to sample something, this might be an option for $1.25, but you can get the whole box at the grocery store at Walmart or a place like that for much cheaper. The same thing goes for their pasta section. At Walmart, you can get any of this pasta in the Great Value brand for less than the dollar store. Now, with some of the box meals like macaroni and cheese, you can get it for about the same price as your grocery store or Walmart. However, if you get it in a box set, you can get it for less. And the same thing goes with canned goods. Sometimes they're the same price, but sometimes they're better. Always check your expiration dates. And you can always keep your eyes out for some sales. I also don't recommend their washcloths and hand towels. They're very thin and you can actually see through them. Do you have anything to share, things to get or not to get at Dollar Tree? Let me know in the comments below. Now let's cover the toy section. There are a lot of arts and crafts and toys in this section. There are some great things, like I'm a big fan of the Hot Wheels and Matchbox toys. And there are some Barbie items and you just can't beat the price for $1.25. There are, on the other hand, several things that are made of very inexpensive plastic and they will break very easy. 
And in addition to not knowing what some of the ingredients are, some of these have been known to stain surfaces. Another section to be careful of is the candle section. I've seen some candles not burn very well and they leave a big mess. The other thing to watch for is making sure that the wick is centered. If it isn't centered, it could get the glass too hot and then the glass will crack and break, leaving you with a big mess. When it comes to office supplies and craft supplies and school supplies, be careful. These aren't always the best deal and sometimes the quality of them isn't the greatest. I often find that some of the best deals come from Walmart during the back to school time. For example, here's notebooks for just 45 cents at Walmart and school glue, just 50 cents. Now, when it comes to crayons, I am very cautious. I've used some of them to melt for DIYs, but I find that if they aren't Crayola brand, they tend to be very waxy and break super easy. And right now at Walmart, they're just 50 cents with back to school sale. If you are thinking about getting a rug from Dollar Tree, these tend to be very slippery on the ground. Look for one that has a rubber back to it. I find that the best ones with rubber back are actually in the Dollar Plus section. And let's move over to the kitchen area and look at some other utensils. The utensils do have a heat safe recommendation and I've used these before and I have had them melt while I'm cooking with a pan. I also would avoid the knife section. My husband taught me it is always important to buy a quality knife. If you are looking for a good quality knife, you want to make sure that the knife goes all the way into the handle. If it doesn't go into the handle, it has a higher probability of breaking and I definitely wouldn't want to see what that does. I have bought some of their oven mitts and their heat pads. I will tell you that they're very thin, and so I have since upgraded to better quality ones. I do have an oven mitt like this one, and with the rubber back, I really like that one, but I've tended to use it more as a trivet now. Now, when it comes to cling wrap and tin foil, you can get a lot with a no-name brand for $1.25. Now, this tends to not work as great, I've learned, and if you do get the name brand, you're paying a lot for a very small amount. So I skip this and get this at Walmart instead. I'm also not a huge fan of their storage containers. Sometimes the lids don't go on tight, they've broken easy, so they're great for some crafts or if you have to bring something over to somebody else's house and you wanna leave it behind. Instead, I recommend these glass reusable dishes. Then you can use them in the microwave as well. However, I will say on Black Friday, you can get a huge set of these at just a fraction of the cost at Walmart. The same goes with the Ziploc baggies. Sometimes you're going to pay a lot of money for not very many with a name brand. And then other ones that are no name brand, the zippers don't zip closed and you end up with things drying out or a big leaking mess. When it comes to laundry detergent, $1.25 for this small container is just too much. And some of the larger containers are just watered down. So just get quality stuff for a better price at Walmart. Now, when it comes to cleaners, I would check the back and make sure you know what's inside of them. I try to stay away from harsh chemicals, and I tend to clean my house with rubbing alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, vinegar, and other natural disinfectants. One of my favorites is Castile soap. I don't buy my garbage bags at Dollar Tree either. Again, you'll pay a lot of money for not very many with a name brand, and any of the thin ones, well, I've just had them tear apart on me. They're so paper thin. And I hope this helps you know what not to buy at Dollar Tree. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chastcrazycreations.com. And guess what? You can buy two, get one free of my books right now. Look for the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.